Right, so, I need to learn Unity, because quite frankly, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing with it. When I tried to learn Godot, I did it by making a 2D platformer, so I thought, might as well do that again. It worked last time. Now obviously that isn't a solid idea on its own, I need a theme, you know, what the game will be about. So I was sitting around trying to think of stuff, but unfortunately thinking really isn't my strong suit, so I needed some inspiration. And a few days later, I found this video on YouTube, Stray for the Game Boy, and I was like, oh, this is cool, but then I realised this video is a proper scam, it's an animation, it's not even a real game, so I'm gonna fix that. Plus, the only ones in my videos that got any substantial amount of views were the ones with cats. More cats equals better video apparently, so I guess that's another reason to make this game. You know, I wish I could just make cat videos. Like, I mean, look at this that I found here, right? This bloke has just put his cat in the shower and got 21 million views. What? Wish I could do that. Better than stupid devlogs that end up getting three views. Anyway, first thing I needed to add to the game was the player, the cat, since, again, that is sort of the whole point of the game. I mean, nothing else really matters. All that stupid lore and robots and whatever else, irrelevant, right? Pointless. If you play Stray for anything other than the cat, uh, you're just playing the game wrong. So I made a sprite and... Yep. Found out pretty quickly that making sprites with a limited colour palette is actually hard. Game dev is hard? What? A trick I found was to just make the size of the canvas really small. Seems to make it a bit easier. Hear that ladies? Small is better sometimes. Laughing at me? Who's laughing now, huh? So anyway, I took my new sprite, slapped it into Unity, and uh, what now? Yeah, I had no idea what I was doing. Luckily though, a 2D platformer is like the most common game ever, so there's like a million tutorials for it. I found this one, followed it for a few days, and wicked. Movement is sorted. Uh, apart from that, yeah, hold on, that's not meant to happen. Right, there we go, much better. Now, right, the problem with this is, the only thing that makes this for the Game Boy is the colour palette. So I decided to add a JPEG image overlay of a Game Boy. Because that plus the colour palette, that, that justifies the title, right? The way I did it was I just found a Google image of a Game Boy, cut out this bit and slapped it on there attached to the camera. Simple. Then I also added some shadows around the edge because it looked kind of ugly without it. Then I started making a level but realised that this game is boring as hell. What else do I need to add to make this game better? Uh, let's have a think. Oh, right, yeah, the buckets. Them are iconic, man. Can't forget them. Right, there we go. What else? You know, I reckon we need something to spice it up, you know, make it a bit more exciting. So, how about some of these? Uh, these, I, I don't really know what these are. These Valve trademark 1998 things. Anyway, them. Let's get some of them in here. Now, by this point, I understood Unity a bit better than when I started. You know, at least enough to start coding some basic stuff. So, this part wasn't really that difficult to make. I made a game object, which was like a horde of these crab things. Then, I made a box cast in front of it, and if the player enters inside the box cast, then it shoots one of the crabs at you, and you die. I really need to learn what they're actually called, hold on. Ah, Zerks, that's what they are. Should have googled that earlier instead of calling them crabs. They don't even really look like crabs at all, I don't know where I got that idea from. Anyway, right, after that I made a load of background sprites, slapped them all onto a sprite sheet and made a tile map out of it. Then I dotted a bunch of decorations around the place and now this game doesn't look ugly as hell. Uh, well, maybe I wouldn't go that far, but it looks a bit better at least. Although, another problem that still remains is that up until this point, the game has been completely silent. So, I needed to sort out some sound which ended up being mega easy. I just stole the background music from that animation we looked at earlier. Thanks for that, lads. Then, finally, last but not least, the most important feature in the entire game. <coughs> Boom. That's gonna get at least 10 articles written about it. Then I made some boring stuff like a main menu and a windscreen, and that is the game sorted. It's extremely short, so I might as well give you a full let's play.
Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Let's Play video. Today we're playing Stray for the Game Boy. So without further ado, let's get started. Right, yeah, I'm not talking like that the whole time. That was really annoying. Right, here we are on the main menu. Literally only one button, so there's no confusion there. So we just walk to the right. Yep. And again, just walk to the right. Oh, no, hold on. Got to jump over this part. Thrilling gameplay this is. Oh, and I've died as soon as I loaded in. Brilliant. There we go. Jump over some more bins. Apparently that's the only obstacle in this entire game. And we're finished. Yep. Wasn't lying when I said it was short. Man, that was, uh... That was easy. Why did I spend ages making this game when I could have just made a video reacting to someone else's game? Yeah, you know what? No more devlogs. I'm a gaming channel from now on. Uh, there'll be a Minecraft Let's Play out next week, so uh, stay tuned for that. 